Hey, yo, this is Rod Swish, and I'm here with AllHipHop.com. Whoa. What's the word? It's your man Slap Shot, you here at Times Square, man. Got Mr. Shaky Baby himself, my man, <laughs> Rod Swish. You know? Yes, sir, we in the building. What's good, King? All right. How you said at the beginning of Treason? Phones on Do Not Disturb, I don't uh, want to be bothered. <laughs> I don't want nobody hearing my shit right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> oh. It, 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 it pop up. It's right there. When you hit the screen, it come, it come right up. Yo, all right, then, so, yo, all right, so straight from the floor, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, all right, sir. got you, man. You've been bubbling for, like, how long? I, said, so, I mean, I caught on since Treesha, but people was, when I when I caught on Treesha, people was like, yo, you late. He, something been yeah. kind of bubbling nah, for yeah, a like, minute. Yeah. I say a couple years now. Treesha was, like, 2019, so probably, like, 2017 is when my name started, like, buzzing around New York City and shit. As mm-hmm. a drill rapper, so I say probably since like 2016, 2017. Oh. They knew me in the streets. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what was the first one? What was your first like breakthrough? You was thinking? Yeah. Um, I say the song I did called Debo. Mm-hmm. And that was like um, I think we dropped that in 2017, and I was just like I went to LA, shot a video and shit, mm-hmm. and it just for me it showed the transition in life. Like I right, he left the block, now he doing videos out there. And everybody gravitated towards that song. Uh, all right, got you, man. So, um, all right. So, what, what's the um thing? So, what made you decide to like not do the regular? Cause you know, you look at any drill rapper video, it's you know a project building. Mm-hmm. Thirty niggas mind. What made you just like? All right, we gonna go out to the West Coast. Shit, just looking for a different surrounding. Like, mm. like you said, everybody doing the same shit. So it's like I'm watching other niggas' videos, and I'm like, damn, this shit look just like my shit. Mm. So I want to get a different vibe, a different feeling. For what I'm doing, so we just went out there and did that. Oh, I got you. All right, then. So, what made you um? What made you start um rapping? I don't. Know, that's usually that's like a generic fucking question. So I don't yeah. normally like <laughs> asking that. But you know, usually I mean, but I found out like not found out, but you know, with most drill rappers, it's not normally they. It's not normally they get on. It's normally like they want to talk about other people. You know, it's to tell their side of a story yeah. or something like that. So that's why I'm asking. Like for you, was it like yo? The music is just something I wanted to do, or was it something like? I had to get my shit off. Nah, really and truly, what made me start rapping is the people behind the camera. It's AG, as Robbie right there. Mm-hmm. For me, like I came from school because I used to play football, mm-hmm. so I went to a junior college for like a semester. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like, all right, school not for me. So when I came back to New York and shit, mm-hmm. they was already rapping. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh shit, they got the hood lit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The bitches outside. You feel <laughs> me? The gang outside is lit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, yo, I could rap too. Like, yo, gang, pull up to the studio. Mm. We go to the studio, and then from there, I just started rapping. Just kept working as time went on, and then for me, shit eventually pop. Okay. Yeah, so from then to now, you see, like, the progression, you know. Um, Chuck just played a few joints. Um, he played the um, the Jay-Z flip, the one that you just did. Yeah. And, like, I mean, it's so there's definitely, like, a big progression that's going on here to the point of where you might not fit, no longer fit the mode of just drill rapper. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, did you see that happening? Was that part of the plan? Or is it just, like, as I get older, as I mature more, it's going to sound yeah, a little like, different? It's all of that. And that's definitely a part of the plan because you don't want to stay stagnant forever. Like, you don't want to just be in one bracket. You feel me? You want to branch off and, and get into different things. And I feel like I've been doing this for so long. Like, I'm mm-hmm. part of the... The wave of the original Brooklyn drill rappers. Mm-hmm. I'm one of the only ones that still have a name and still pushing forward. So it's like I kind of feel like I conquered this mm-hmm. wave right here because I kept this drill rap shit for me bubbling for about four or five years mm-hmm. now. So it's like, all right, this is not all I could do. I'm not only a drill rapper, so it's time to show versatility. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. What's the um, what's the future of that? I mean, cause. I was thinking, I like, I had a moment to myself. I'm like, since Pop died, to me, like, it kind of died down a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, nah, you know, like, I see, like, there is another wave coming up right now. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, so to me, it's like 50 50. Like you said, like, some of the old, some of the one, the original, the originators, they kind of, like, went away, got a little quiet. But now there's a new wave that's brewing up. So, like, what, what you think, what, like, what's your assessment on, like, what the future going to be for this? Um, I actually feel like drill music is just going to keep getting bigger because, like you said, it's so much new people doing it. And then that was not only New York. Even though we didn't originate it, it's just like, you feel me, we mm. had a wave for it. Mm. And now you got people in other states doing it in other countries. So I feel like it's just going to keep growing. And I support drill music. Like, mm. if anybody could come do the drill music and have a successful career, mm. I'm all for it. Because uh, uh, it's, it's like a, to me, drill music is a hood nigga expression. Mm. 
from you just gonna talk your shit and what you see on the block and shit like that. Mm. All right, so you're not selfish about it. It's nah. Not a, okay, okay, got you. All right, man. So, um, so you're from Kanasi, man, and um, I think one of the people that I mean, we all know Pop Smoke from Kanasi and stuff like that, and both both of y'all rap. Can you um give us like the originate or uh, where Wu originated from? Wu came from. The older dogs in Kanasi and, mm. and Wu is just a lifestyle. Mm. It's like flossy ways. You get money, mm. you fly, you smell good, you look good, mm. nice cars, mm. nice jewelry, mm. shit like that. It's, it's a lifestyle to be flashy. Mm. You stunting, you woo. Got you, got you, got you. All right, man. So when you when it when it started and things like that, did you did you think it was gonna go worldwide? What Wu? Yeah. Is you, it's because it's worldwide. I yeah. went to Roll a lot. I remember when Welcome to the Party first dropped. No, nah, I think by that time we was on DR DR, mm -hmm. and I'm at Rolling Loud, and I'm seeing white people, and they played Welcome to the Party. And I've seen this white girl, like, suburbs. She never been to Brooklyn, bro. Couldn't have possibly ever been to Brooklyn. She knew Welcome to the Party word for word, bro. And I'm like, I mean, oh, we, we did a thing here. Yeah, Brooklyn is, yeah. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I mean, we ain't see it going worldwide or nothing, because it's just like, it was us. It was our personal thing, but. Mm -hmm. For me, it just so happened. One of us became worldwide, mm -hmm. so that's that became the expectation now. Cause mm -hmm. it always been like that. If one one of us blow, we all blow. For mm -hmm. me, we all going together. So it definitely was a big thing, and I I like seeing what's mm -hmm. going on now mm -hmm. at this point. You feel me? Everybody, yo, ooh, 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 this type mm -hmm. for me. You got all different races, mm -hmm. all different type of people running around yelling woo, saying they the woo. So I fuck with it, cause <laughs> it's a lifestyle, man. If you woo, then you woo. That's a fact. All right, so yo. Um, all right, so you obviously you had pop on the intro to your last album, you know. Back to the times, get up, yeah, we gonna get back. Y'all got a surprise, me and Ross Swiss about to do another track, you huh? That's gonna be on Meet the Wolf Part 2. Oh, man, you're you not, you not even, two. you not even supposed to tell him that. You're not even supposed to tell him that. I'm supposed to no, we're telling him right now, especially right now. Oh, man, that's Ross supposed to be a little surprise for me, Meet the Wolf Volume 2. Um, and then you had the song right after, mm -hmm. named after him, in honor of him. Um, what was your relationship to him? Like I had met Pop in like 2018, mm. and I did a video. I did a video on his block. You mm. feel me? Like I was cool with his older dogs and shit. I never. I probably seen him before, but we ain't never really exchanged words. But mm. I did a video on his block, and then he pulled up to me like, "Yo, bro, I fuck with you. You feel me? I fuck with your music. Ah, you put on for the hood. He like, yo, I'm about to start rapping. Remember, I'm telling you, I'm gonna rap. I'm gonna take off. Mm. I'm gonna be the biggest nigga in the hood. Mm. So I'm looking at this nigga. I'm like. <laughs> all right, I'm like, all right, do your thing, gang. You feel me? Like, it was that type of energy. That's, what, that's like, what everybody say yeah. when they first start rapping. For so that, I was like, yeah. all right, you feel mm -hmm. me? And then from there, just being outside and shit, being block boys and shit, I just kept seeing him. We fucking with each other and shit. Like, yeah, gang, mm -hmm. pull up on me. Mm -hmm. He come on my block, come to his block. We chilling, barbecues, parties. Like, you feel me? Little shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we got just you. relationship from there. Got you. So, um, with you being so close in the intro and stuff like that, did you feel like, do you feel any pressure, like, to, like, keep the torch going? Now that he's um now that he's passed? Nah, I wouldn't say it's pressure because this was my mission regardless. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm still here to put the gang on, to put the team on, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it, it ain't really no pressure. I'm going to do what I got to do regardless. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right, then. So I'm from the style, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember, like, growing up, we used to always look at Canarsie. Canarsie is just like deep that was like <laughs> you know that was the back part of brooklyn mm -hmm. and then y'all started making like all the noise you get what i'm saying so like what's a, um what's a regular day in canarsie like from the, from the floors man shit regular day in canarsie yeah man wake up mm. go to the store get you probably a bacon egg and cheese or some shit <laughs> mm. link up with the guys you chilling mm. On the block, you telling seeing what's going on. Mm. Smoke good weed. Find out what you're doing. For me, it's probably the afternoon or yeah, afternoon by now. <laughs> get a little hungry, you might stop by Peppers, get some jerk chicken. Yeah, shout out to Peppers. <laughs> you feel me? That's the might classic. Get some jerk chicken. Yeah, that's a fact. And then, uh, you feel me? Mm. It's time to see what we get into. Where we going for the night? Mm. Gosh, you All right, man. So, like, yo, when um thing when this when this became a thing, did y'all feel like? Um, what you call it? Y'all was re represented correctly in, amongst like Brooklyn, or did y'all feel like we had to have our own situation going on? Cause I mean, like, I don't, you know, like Brooklyn had a has a foothold in the rap game for like mad years. You get what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, like, so Kanasi was like a new thing though to hear, like as far as like rapping goes. I mean, it was it wasn't more of like we had to have our own shit. It was mm. just 
we are our own shit. You know, Brooklyn niggas, we take <laughs> shit. So if niggas wasn't giving respect, we was taking it. Mm. So that's how we, we approach the way we made music, the way we move, yeah. where we go places, and, and now we on the map. Yeah. In fact, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all still got the worst high school in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, then, man. So, I was talking to Chuck. He's playing some like tracks. I got some some shit coming, man. Yeah. yeah in fact, so what you working on? What's the um? What's the future coming? Come um, looking like. Um, right now I'm working on the tape. Right now, mm. my shit keep getting pushed back for you for me, mm. different reasons and shit. Mm. But it should be coming in the next couple of weeks. It's called May of the Streets. Mm. Not right there. It's just you for me. Me solidifying myself mm. again, but just in a different position. Mm. Let niggas know I'm not in competition with nobody. I do the street shit. I do the drill shit. Mm. I do that. And then after that, in the works, we got just switching up yeah. my style a little bit. A little bit of, for me, different type of uh, music for to sure. show the versatility. Nah, he's, play, he's playing some joints, man. He's playing some joints. I don't want to let none of the cats out the bag. <laughs> but you got, some, you got some big names on that shit, man. Yeah, did, yeah. You, did you know, like, I mean, you did you realize, like, you had that type of power or reach in the industry before these before these features came about? Nah, I didn't, but mm -hmm. it's just like, you feel me, networking with people and building relationships mm -hmm. and this shit, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. So once you know the right people, they can put you in the right positions and then you meet people and then you go further in life. I got you, man. So, um, how far do you think you gonna you can take this? This is this like, um, like me surpassing rap, is this like, or is the, is the goal like, number one, like on the charts period? You know what I'm saying? Or is it like, I, I like where I'm at in my hip-hop realm and stuff like that? Oh, no, nah, I definitely don't like where I'm at. I'll never be comfortable in no position in life because uh -huh. the goal is to make it to the top. So mm -hmm. I'll never be comfortable. I, I got a billion dollars. I still <laughs> tell you, we got to find a way to do something else because mm -hmm. I'm not going to settle. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to take this shit to the top. I mean, I won't really say, I won't say like one of my goals is like to be number one or some shit like that, but mm -hmm. I just want to be stamped as you feel me. That nigga, of course, going platinum <laughs> for me doing what you do in the rap industry, but I ain't gonna say I'm saying he's striving for number one if it happened, it happened. Fact. Oh, okay, got you. Um, so he played one um joints with Favi. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He said he wanna shoot the video when he gets out. Yeah. Um have you told him recently, you know what his situation looking like? Um no, I ain't speak to him, but mm. I spoke to his people for me. I mm. speak to him on the regular, but yeah, he looking good. He should be out soon. That's my boy too. So for me, as soon as he get out, we gonna make that shit happen. Mm. Free Favi. That's a fact. Yo, um, y'all got like a whole like collective. This whole this whole thing. I went to, I remember I went to like a Cloud Nine show like last year. That's the one where Tory Lanez was there. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like to see what the green room was looking like. Yo, y'all look like y'all 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 have a thing, bro. And people say like shit ain't unified. You get what I'm saying? But it yeah. seemed like it's a lot of unity. How y'all built that? Shit, it's just. A bunch of genuine niggas just happen to make it through the door. Mm. You feel me? And it's like, ain't no leave, ain't leaving nobody behind. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's like, you mm -hmm. made it, you made it, you made it. I'm making it. You feel me? We all gonna help each other. We all gonna bring each other through the door because that's the only way everybody gonna eat. Mm -hmm. So that's how we moving with it. I got you. I got you. So um, I think all right. Then so like as of recently though, I've been seeing like you know you on the internet and you keep up. You see like a little bit of the cracks. So like. A lot of people, some people having like issues with other with other people and stuff like that as, amongst y'all, right? But and your rappers and they have they have big names. They bring out um numbers and all that. How do you, how I mean, how do you do y'all? I would think y'all would want to handle like more indoors and shit, but like then come out with like come out with videos and stuff like that. Like for you, right? As a person and one of the originators of this, right? How do you um how do you keep everything still going, still on one accord? If like y'all do have like public issues and shit. Shit, I don't know. I ain't really had no public issues with nobody personally, so mm -hmm. I ain't crossed that bridge yet, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, when emotions get involved, you can't really tell nobody what to do, you feel me? They, mm -hmm. You're your own man, so you're going to do whatever you feel, but mm -hmm. me personally, I ain't never had no personal issues mm -hmm. publicly with nobody, so mm -hmm. I'm chilling. <laughs> this is a smooth cat right here, man. You sure you're not from Harlem, bro? <laughs> for, for a fact, man. All right, man. Um, dream doll shit. That shit's yeah. going. I'll be up to like two, man. How that um feature come about? Shit, we just well connected and well respected. Like you feel me? The people just her team, my team, they was cool, they had history, so we just got up like that. I needed a female feature mm -hmm. to hop on this what you like song and it just made sense. Like, mm -hmm. all right, you feel me? She do her thing. Mm -hmm. She we gotta get her on this. Uh yeah, I got um thing, you've been doing like a lot of sampling lately. Yeah. What's the um what's the cause of that? Um, Trackmasters. Shout out to Trackmasters. Mm -hmm. You know, they in the loop, they in tune, so 
as far as bringing that old feeling back and then giving it that new vibe, that new young nigga vibe. Mm. So you feel me? It's like, all right, we came together and now we pushing this forward. That's dope, man. Shout out to Tone, man. That's uh, I mean, a lot of people can't say, like, I could work with fucking track masters. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They got some classics under the belt. Super you know classics. I mean? That's a fact, Super man. I'm, I know you got a few, like, coming up, man. Yeah. Right, facts, man. But before you get out of here, man, I'm going to need your top five dead or alive. Top five. Top. That's crazy. I was just talking to them about this, too, because I'm like, yo. You just had this conversation. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I feel like every interview I do, my top five change. <laughs> because, like, I listen to so much music yeah, on a daily. Yeah, yeah. I might hear some shit be like, nah, I'm nah, not going to this today. Him. Yeah, I miss him. Yeah, all yeah. Right. yeah, facts. Top five, that all love. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Biggie, mm-hmm. Jay. Mm. Damn, five. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Biggie J, mm. Little Wayne, mm. fuck Eminem, mm. Pop Smoke. Mm. That's a five. Uh, top five. That that's a five. five. That's a dope ass five. Brooklyn was heavy on that, by the way. Just heavy on that. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> heavy on that. That's a fact. I kind of, I kind of need a little bit more room to fit people <laughs> in, but I should. I do feel me. You had to settle. That's a fact. All right, man. Yo, um, what visuals we working on? Um, we gonna begin working on for the Mayor of the City joint. Um, so right now we just dropped the Wood Again video. Mm-hmm. Me and my boy Ron Suno. We that's the name of it. Wood Again. Yeah, Wood that's again. that's fine. That's yeah. Wood Again that's right a, there. That's a dope ass title. For that's it. Wood again. Yeah, that's the so, one with the whole with the whole sample. Okay, yeah. got you, got you, got you. So then after that, me and my boy Ron Suno, we got some shit on the tape. We about to shoot our video. Mm-hmm. So that it's called RS. Mm-hmm. And then I got this other song mm. called El Otro. Mm. And my Spanish shit. <laughs> <laughs> you about to, I got to shoot the video to that. Mm-hmm. And I don't even check. Not even, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this. I, I mm. hope this don't drop before the tape drop. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That? I got some no, shit. We, we, we like exclusives around. Uh, I we got like some shit. Around. I got some shit with my boy Smoke Perp. Uh, mm, so, yeah, I heard that one. Got some more purple on the drill. Yeah, beat, so. And then we doing a video to that too. So it's gonna be a lot of shit coming off this project with visuals. That, that's dope. Okay, okay. That's a connection right there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got you. I saw what you did there with the RS thing. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, ah, yeah. I caught that one, man. Yo, let okay. them know how they can get in touch with you, man, and how they can stream Woo Forever and things of that nature, man. Man, listen, on Instagram, you can find me at Rob Swish. On Twitter at Real Rob Swish, Apple Music, Spotify. Rod Swiss, look me up. Wood again, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you listen to, SoundCloud, just look it up, type in Rod Swiss, we're going to pop up. Woo. That's a fact, man. Yo, listen, man, you kept it. You kept shit going, man. Proud of you, man. I know I've heard what you got going up next, man. It's a transition that's about to happen, man. So congratulations on that, Appreciate man. Appreciate it. Keep it going, man. And when, um, thing, hopefully when you, um, thing, when they, the album's dropping and things of that nature, man, we can woo it again. That's what I yes, did. sir. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like that, uh-huh. Dave. Uh-huh. 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 I feel it. Yo, man, slap shot you. Allhiphop.com. Once again, I want World Studios. Thorough, what up? <laughs> All right, we out, man. Whoa.